back to you as soon as possible. We have a lot of great playoff matchups to look forward to this weekend, but one stands out for me. I'm excited to head to Marquette tomorrow night to watch the rematch between Marquette and Petoskey. And the last time these two teams met was not too long ago, back in week seven. And that game was decided by just a couple of plays, and we should be in for another close one this time around. The Marquette football team has had their shares of ups and downs navigating through their first season as a member of the Big North Conference. While the goal is always to be playing your best football when it matters most during the playoffs, Marquette is coming off an underwhelming performance at home against Kingsford to close out their regular season. I'm not even sure what game you're talking about. <laughs> I've already forgotten it. <laughs> After falling to Kingsford 46-11 in Week 9, Marquette has quickly turned the page and shifted their focus towards their next opponent. Marquette head coach Eric Mason is using the game as a teaching moment. We had basically five good weeks in a row and we weren't expecting that at all, to be honest. And, uh, you know, things in the first half just didn't go our way, turn the ball over. Uh, things that don't usually happen did and, and that happens. It's football, uh, you know, and it happens at all levels. So unfortunately, you just got to regroup. And that's one of the things we've been stressing to this team throughout the year is how do you handle adversity? It's huge. I mean, the, you know, things are going to go wrong in every game. So you have to rebound from it. And the team that rebounds the best is the team that ultimately comes out uh, on top. At 5-3, and three, Marquette will be playing host to Petoskey in the first round of the playoffs. These two teams met back in Week 7 with Marquette edging the Northmen 21-20. It's always good to win a close game and to have to hang on. Um, and we did that. So I, I was proud of the kids because close games, obviously, everybody tightens up. Uh, things happen. And which team can uh, overcome that pressure and that stress of, of it being close is going to come out on top. And I was very happy with the kids and the fact that they gave a, a tremendous effort and, and they came out on top on that. Petoskey's a great program. They're a good team. So I expect nothing different than coming up here on uh, Friday. Mason calls the rematch a great opportunity for his players to prove their showing last week was not a representative of what Marquette football is all about. Well, basically they got an opportunity to reverse what happened last week. Okay, you had a bad, uh, a bad uh, outcome last week. Now you have a, a unique opportunity, not only at home in a home playoff game, but you get to rebound and put a better uh, example of yourself of your team, of your effort uh, in front of your home crowd. In sports, there's an old adage that says it's hard to beat the same team twice in the same season. But Mason believes their last outcome against Petoskey has only injected more confidence in his team. Confidence is huge with high school kids. Uh, if you got a confident team, uh, nine times out of ten, you're gonna you're gonna excel with that. Um, especially you know in a close game like that, they have the idea that they can do it. So I'm 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 looking forward to uh, Friday night, and I'm looking forward to them to put their best effort forward. Mark. Marquette and Petoskey will kick off from William R. Hart Stadium in Marquette this Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central.